So uh, I couldn't get the car updated with the um, with the um, over the air update. Um, it kept failing as I was pushing the update to the car. It would get to about 19% and then just bomb out. So I logged a service call and took the car into the dealer and they, they hooked it up and ran diagnostics. And they um, checked everything through the car and then they programmed it. And I was expecting software 11 2025.30 but what I got was 11 slash 2025.40. So I even got a newer version of software. So with that, when the software got updated, I was able to go to my app under charging and I got a new field called equipment. And here I can actually add the adapter, which I actually have the adapter. Uh, went and bought it off of the um, BMW's link and got the Vortex Plus that's also UL certified. So let's go ahead and add the adapter and we're going to add it for the i4 M50. And actually, I actually own the AC adapter also. So do I have that here? Yeah, I do have that here. Here's my AC adapter. I bought this a few years ago. And I've used this on um, destination, Tesla destination chargers that have AC connection. So I've used them there. So go ahead and say I got both of those. And I do done. And let's go and do a save. Okay, now we got our adapters in there. So I want to go and charge. And there's a V3 supercharger site out here. We're not seeing there, so I need to go over here and let's turn that on here also. This is under the um, profile for charging. So the site finally showed up. And go and click on it. And we're not seeing any status on that yet. I may have more work to do. I'm seeing question marks with 16 plugs available. So we're not really getting any status yet. See what this show more says down here. Oh yeah, just want to make sure we've got our adapters added, which we've done that. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and view the route over, and we're going to get there with 39 percent. So let's go ahead and send this to the car. Yeah, it's showing it grayed out. We're not getting any status on this on the site yet. And let's sit here for a little bit. Oh yeah. Preconditioning has already started. I see the little preconditioning icon is right there. So, okay, so let's head on out to um, to the site and see if we can get ourselves charging with the uh, my BMW app. While I'm out here at the uh, Tesla Supercharger, the uh, version 3's, and um, I'll go through and um, show you what we have to do. First thing is, just want to make sure we have the adapter set, and we do. We navigate it out here. So let's come back up here and let's do a charge here. It sees we're at the Tesla site. Shows plugs as unknown because we're not seeing the status. So we're on 4A. 
So I'm going to go ahead and select 4A. It's going to be charged against my... Um, it's going to be charged against my Shell recharge account. Go ahead and get it started. Here's my adapter. So we have an interlock switch on the back here. So we've got to press that in to get the adapter to plug in. Then we can come over here and plug it into the car. And we're communicating and authenticating. Now we're charging. So I can hear dispenser fans kicking on. We also have the ability, in case you can't get the um, BMW app to work, you could actually use the Tesla app. That's come in handy. I had one app not work and had to use the second app and got things going. So it sees us here. So if I did a charge here, I see all the adapters, and I'm on 4A, so we'll get out of there, come back over here. And we see ourselves charging. Let's go see what, we're, what kind of speed we're getting. I'm doing 148, but I was at a higher state of charge. So we're here at this uh, travel center called Kathy's. And we got these superchargers. Got a Lyric taking up two stalls like I did. He's trying to do the best he can. But here, yeah, See, the uh, version 3 dispensers are offset. So we end up having to block two stalls. So I line up the side of the car up to the center of the dispensers I can plug in. I'll insert what a version 4 dispenser site looks like, and it's centerly stalled. I'll put that right here. So back here, so nice little travel area. So yeah, everything worked. So that's it from the uh, Tesla Supercharger. Everything worked on my BMW app, got the adapter, um, configured the, um, my BMW app to know it has the adapter. So it does preconditioning and get chargers initiated.